kind of curved bands just to show that it's rounded. And here's another shade on this one that's rolled up. <clears throat> um, in the window, you can see through the window in the finished drawing out the, wi out the window on the other side of the carriage. So to show the other side of the carriage from the inside, draw a line that follows this one, stops a little short of that line, and then curves this way. So that's the window on the other side of the carriage. Same here. Stop a little short and then do that. Okay, now for some of the, just the decorative stuff. There's a, a rectangle here and one on the other side. And then there's another one here. It's just kind of a rounded, cornered rectangle. Then on this side, there's a long, a long one. Okay. Now underneath here, there's one that goes like this, it goes down, and then it curves back up, and meets at the top. And it has the same over here, but you're going to have to go behind the wheel on this one. Okay. Now, right here, there's like a step, steps to get into the carriage. So these lines curve out a little bit, swooping out, and then rounded, and then connect it like that. Then there's a smaller step coming out. Mine's a little crooked, that's okay. Okay. On the front, this is where the people sit. So right below this line, come, come out, go down a bit, Actually, you can make this into a rectangle first and put a line across and this says U.S. Mail, like that. Now from this tip, slant out, go behind that handle and it curves up a little and then it curves down and it goes flat here and connects. On the top of the carriage there's a railing and you can color it in black. There's one on each end, a little stick, the little ball on top and then right about on each side of the door, kind of evenly spaced across the top. There's four of them. And then there's two railings.
There's one. Colored in black. And then at the top, there's another one. Okay, and you can color that one now or later. Okay, now on the front of the thing here, there's another one. A line up and just one railing on this one. Okay, so that's the basic stage coach. Now, um, now there's the wheels that are. Um, let me show you the wheels that are behind. See these wheels back here on the other side? They're kind of in the shadows so they're dark. They're kind of hard to draw so you don't have to do that part. You can skip it if you want but I'm going to draw it right now. So behind... Oh you know what? We have to draw another part first that I forgot. This back part where I think they keep some of the luggage and stuff. Or maybe people sit back there. Well, it starts um, here, and it swoops out behind the wheel, and then it curves back behind the wheel, and it kind of comes down to meet underneath the carriage. And over here, there's a little lip that comes up and goes back down. Okay, now the wheel. The wheel is, it looks smaller because it's farther away, so it's going to start inside the other wheel. So first start with a circle that appears a little shorter than the other wheel, and it goes behind your first wheel. Now try to find the middle of that, that wheel and draw a black circle in the middle which also has to go behind behind the other wheel your first wheel also draw this line for the outside of the wheel and then you can color it in if you want because that will make it easier for you to see it as you're finishing it. And you can color it in better later. And now you can make the spokes so it goes through the middle and comes out the other side. And just keep making the spokes. You have to carefully go behind the other wheel. But if you do it carefully, you watch where you put your line, then it will work out good in the end. <laughs> 